Well, I'm in Coalport and I'm just coming to see Rachel. That's Rachel Frost, who's our potter, who makes our tagines. So I've arranged for her to come and tell us a little about what she does. So let's see if she's in. There she is. Hi, Rachel. Hi. Oh, you're looking busy. So tell me that what you're you're centering the centering the clay. Centering the clay and getting rid of any air bubbles that might be trapped in it. When you push back down, it should pop any air bubbles. How long have you been doing this? Twenty-five years. Yeah, you're not that old. Ah, Twenty-five years, never. How long you've been in this workshop? Twenty-five years. <laughs> So who did you learn from? Self-taught, picked it up as I went along. Oh, right. So I'm just starting to shape it now, just bringing the clay up. It's on the tagine, and how thick do you think it is by the time it's finished? Upside down tagging we're looking at. Is it cold in here in the winter? It's really sick. <laughs> that chill blends on the fingers. This is one you prepared earlier. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, what are you using to trim it down with? They're just um, upturning tools. So, what are you using there to get the finish on? This is just a kidney now, and it's just going to take. So, is it a very sort of flat, sharp piece of metal? Yeah. So now you're starting the, the decoration, what have you done to get to this stage now? I've banded the background colour on and now I'm just starting to paint the flowers. So what are the colours? They're um, coloured slips, so it's um, a watered down clay with a colour pigment added. Any idea what, what's the blue colour in it? That's the cobalt in there. And the, the green at the bottom? Um, they're um, different strengths of copper. Oxides and then we've got black iron oxide. And so, how long does it take to do the painting? Um, now, this is a meadow flower, isn't it? Yeah, it does vary. I'd say about 40 minutes. It's probably the longest process. Yes. But you have to let it. Um, now, of course, at this colour, at this point, the colours are nowhere near as vibrant as the finished one. Does that make it quite difficult to actually work out what's going to happen at the end? It does, yeah. You're looking at it in a different way. And that doesn't look like a brush. Have you got hairs on it? It has, yeah, but the slip's quite thick, so it, it, you load up with the, the hairs full of slip and then just drip them off. Because everyone's slightly different, isn't it? Yeah, they're all individual. I don't stick to the same. Some people are sometimes quite surprised. They're expecting these to be turned out in a factory by their thousands. <laughs> so what are you putting on now? It's like an orange. It's the centre of the flower. Was that, that, was that, that a stamen? Yeah. It's my, my version of a hollyhock. 
That's a real sort of cottage garden flower from around here, isn't it? Now, what are you putting on there? These are going to be foxgloves. What colour will they be? That's a grey at the moment. This will, the stem will be black, but you won't see much of this, and I'll put the purple flowers in the top. What are you putting on there? Just the little seeds around the poppy head. So is this the final part of decoration here? It is, yeah. This is so just... been, that's a green, it's got to be a green, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so all finished? Yeah, that's done now, it's just got to dry off before it's fired. So how long are you going to keep it there before you put it? Probably about three to four days just to make sure it's completely dry. Okay, so we're standing by the kiln here now. So it's off. So our tagine is going to go lid is going to go into there in a couple of days time. I'd say it would be about a two week process from throwing, letting it dry out to turn, painting it, yeah. decorating it, letting it dry again, back into, back into the kiln. So Rachel, here you are, you're standing by the fi finished piece. We've got our oak knob on the top and it's sitting on the cast bowl. A bit dusty that one, but it's rather good. Right, thank you very much.